A standard elevator in a mid-rise building can hold a maximum weight of one and a half tons. Assuming an average adult weight of 160 pounds, what is the maximum number of adults who could safely ride the elevator? So what we need to do is we have to get the maximum weight that, we, that the elevator can hold in terms of pounds, and then just say, OK, well, how many adults is that? So they gave us the maximum weight in terms of tons. So they say it is 1 and 1 half tons. And it's always easier to, be, to deal with improper fractions than mixed numbers. So let's write this as an improper fraction. So 1 and 1 half tons is the same thing as, well, 1 ton is 2 halves. And then you add another 1 half, that's 3 halves. So you get 3 halves tons. Or another way to think about it is 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So the maximum capacity is 3 halves tons. Let's think about how many pounds that is. And to do that, we have to know that there are 2,000 pounds per ton. Let me write this up here. We know that there are 2,000 pounds pounds per ton. This wasn't given in the problem anywhere. This is something I knew from past experience. It's a good thing to know in general that a, a ton is 2,000 pounds. So I'm going to write it right over here. Now, how do we convert these 3 half tons into pounds? Well, we're going to multiply it by something. And the units that we're going to multiply by, we want the tons to cancel out. So we're going to want to have tons in the denominator. We want tons in the denominator, so it cancels out with this tons up here. And then we want pounds in the numerator. And that's exactly what we wrote up here. There are 2,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds for every one ton, or you could just say 2,000 pounds per ton. You could put the 1 there, but it doesn't really change the expression. Now, if we multiply 3 half tons times 2,000 pounds per ton, what will happen is that the tons cancel out. That was the whole point of multiplying it by this. And we would be left with, we would be left with 3 halves, 3 halves times 2,000, times 2,000. And the only unit left is pounds, is pounds. And this is the way, if you do it this way, you'll never get confused. You'll, you'll know what you're, you know, that the units cancel out, so you're getting the right units. But if you just think about it in your mind, it should also make sense. Two, if, 2, 000, if there are 2,000 pounds per ton, and there are 1 and 1 half tons, I should multiply 1 and 1 half times 2,000 to get the number of pounds. That makes sense. It'll give me, and we know 1 and 1 half times 2,000 is 3,000, but we'll figure it out right here. So what is 3 halves times 2,000? Well, I just told you the answer. We can actually. Simplify it right over here. This is going to be 3 times 2,000 over 2 pounds. We can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. This will become 1,000. And this will become 1. So it's 3 times 1,000 pounds. Or this is equal to 3,000 pounds. So what we've done so far, is we've just figured out the maximum capacity of the elevator. It can hold 1 and 1 half tons, which is the exact same thing as 3,000 pounds. Now, what we need to figure out is 3,000 pounds is equivalent to how many average adults of 160 pounds? Or how many 160 uh, pound people would it take to weigh a total of 3,000 pounds? Well, we can just divide by 160. And if you want to make sure that the units work out, Remember, we want this we want our answer to be in terms of people and we want the pounds to cancel out. So we have a pounds in the numerator here. So if we divide by pounds, the pounds will cancel out. And then we have we want our leftover to be people or maybe person. Person. Person, people, same thing. Let me do people. The the, the grammar of it or doing singular plural might make it a little confusing, but I think you get the general idea. Now, if we were to write this out, what does it tell us? One person weighs 160 pounds. So there's one people or one person for every 160 pounds. So notice, if we multiply these two expressions, the pounds will cancel out. We'll be just left with people. But we're really just dividing. We're multiplying 3,000 times 1 over 160. But this really just taking 3,000 and dividing by 160, which makes sense. We have a capacity of 3,000. Each of our people weighs 160 pounds. Divide by 160 tells you how many people. But this way, you know that the units are working out. So this is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to 3,000 over 160 people. That is the maximum capacity of the elevator in terms of average people. Now, what is this? Well, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 
10, if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 10, this becomes 300 over 16. If we divide 300 by, if we divide 300 by 2, this becomes 150. If we divide 16 by 2, this becomes 8. Now let's see, what can we do more here? Well, we could divide by 2 again. Let me rewrite it. I don't want this to get. So this is the same thing as 150 over 8 people. See, 150 we can divide by 2. This gives us 75. And if you take 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So we have 75 divided by 4 people. Let me just do that, work it out. So you have 75 divided by 4. 4 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. You subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. Bring down this 5. 4 goes into 35 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32. Subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. And then you have the decimal. We're going beyond the, we're going to the right of the ones place. We're going to the tenths place now. So we can bring down a 0 over here. 4 goes into 30 seven times. 7 times 4 is 28. You subtract, you get 2. Bring down another 0. 4 goes into 20 exactly five times. 5 times 4 is 20, and then we are done. So this expression is exactly you know, the 3,000 divided by 160, or the 150 divided by 8, or the 75 divided by 4. It all turns out to be 18.75 people is the capacity of the elevator. 18.75 average 160-pound people would weigh 3,000 pounds. Now, did they want a decimal? What is the maximum number of adults who could safely ride the elevator? Well, if they're all going to be average, then the maximum number of adults, since you can't have, since you can't have three quarters of a people of a person or 75 hundredths of a person, the maximum number is going to be 18. If you have 19 average weight adults, you're going to be too heavy, and the elevator will will fall or something.